I'm sure you've all heard of the placebo effect. A sick person is given a sugar pill, told it's medicine, and because they believe it will make them better, they get better. Science does not fully understand this phenomenon, but developmental biologist Bruce Lipton offers an explanation. If the brain expects that a treatment will work, it sends healing chemicals into the bloodstream, which facilitates that. And the opposite is equally true and equally powerful. When the brain expects that a therapy will not work, it doesn't. It's called the nocebo effect. Lipton is best known for his book, The Biology of Belief. In it, he claims that our DNA, our biological blueprint, is not fixed. Rather, our genes are expressed, turn on or off, in response to our environment. But Lipton takes it one step further. He asserts that it's actually our perception of the environment that affect our gene expression, meaning that changes in our biology are not in response to objective reality, but how we see and interpret reality. Wim Hof is a Dutch extreme athlete who is able to tolerate cold exposure for insanely long periods of time. He swims in frigid water, climbs snowy mountains in nothing but a pair of shorts, and is able to maintain his core body temperature while packed in ice for almost two hours. Science does not understand how he does it. Now, Wim claims he controls his autonomic nervous system through breathing exercises and intense mental focus, and he's shown that he can teach others to do the same. Wim is a promoter of self-empowerment and self-healing. His oft-repeated message is, the power is in you. The latest research in cognitive science suggests there's no evolutionary advantage to seeing the world as it is. Rather, we perceive the world in a way that optimizes our survival based on our experiences with our environment. So again, we do not see objective reality. Instead, we create mental models and then project that reality onto our world. You then are the creator of your world. Want to change your world? Change the way you see it. Well, that's easier said than done because our mental models are deeply embedded in our psyche. They're programmed into us from birth, firmly established by age six. They run in the background like software, interpreting all input through their filter. Undoing them is not just changing how and what we think, though that's important. It's letting go of our identity, who we think we are, and everything we're attached to. My therapist once said to me, you can have everything you want. You just have to forget everything you know. So the question is, are you ready to challenge all your assumptions about reality, about who you think you are and what is possible, and begin to see yourself as an immensely powerful being that is capable of manifesting anything you choose? Are you ready to accept that your thoughts have the power to affect the material world, that your dreams are a vision of a potential future, just waiting for you to realize them?